you know, you find a lot of port cities were musical cities. Right, exactly. That's because all, all the, the sellers would come back in in the merchant rooms and they bring those American yeah. soul and R and B mm. and blues records. It must have been amazing. Must have been a great How time. exciting must that have been? Yeah. You know I just mean? wish it, yeah. We, Imagine, we, I want to feel what it was like for Lennon to be at Heartbreak Hotel for that yeah, first, for the first time on the radio. Time. Well, you're musical. You love a lot of American music. It's uh, you, everything from, you know, Gene Clark of the Birds. I mean, your musical takes slide the Family Stone. The wealth of talent in this country is incredible. And what it's produced over the years has changed the face of music, right from blues, folk, early country. It's just uh, in the air, you know. Hey, so the United Nations of Sound, I meant to ask you about the name, because I love the name. Yeah. And is that because of just the different people you have coming from so many different places and the way the sound is mixed, you know, Absolutely, from soulfulness yeah. to hip hop? Mm. It's got the rock and folk, it's got a little bit of everything in it. I mean, I think um, to work with uh, No ID, come over to New York, I mean, I think everybody involved was slightly out of the comfort zone. You know, yeah. you've got a guy there who's pretty much worked with uh, hip hop and R&B acts. Yeah, we're You've got me, right? yeah, who's essentially recorded or uh, used engineers or producers who are from more of the rock side. But um, it was during the making of, of the first few days in New York City, this sort of conversation started about how music has been so genreified, it's been put into boxes, whereas to me, you know, it's like rock, soul, yeah. you know, no new soul, none of this nonsense. I just, I love to see you perform. I mean, you sing live, man. It just always cuts right through me. It's great. Any performance has that feeling. There is a sense of doing a bungee jump. You're just about to jump off and you're questioning, why have you put yourself in this situation? Yeah. You fool. You know <laughs> what I mean? I mean, I don't, I don't do bungee jumping, surfing, skiing, or any of those things. And I think it's because I don't need to. I can only imagine it's similar to that kind of thing. Yeah. When you first go off piste on your skis and you're like, am I really going to do this? And yeah. then halfway through you're like, yeah, <laughs> I was born to do it. <laughs> and then some nights, bang, you hit the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.